Imagine a financial landscape where power isn't concentrated in the hands of a few, but is instead distributed across a network of stakeholders. That's the essence of decentralization in the realm of blockchain technology and finance. In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the intricacies of decentralization, exploring its significance and implications. So, if you've ever wondered how Bitcoin stands against centralized payment solutions and altcoins claiming decentralization, you're in for a deep dive into the world of financial sovereignty. In this exploration, our aim is to demystify decentralization within blockchain and finance. We'll delve into two case studies involving Bitcoin, one comparing it to centralized payment solutions like PayPal, and the other scrutinizing its decentralization against altcoins. By the end, you'll gain a profound understanding of why Bitcoin remains a beacon of decentralization in the ever-evolving crypto landscape. To kick things off, we'll define decentralization and its financial equivalent, sovereignty. Then, we'll examine the case of Bitcoin versus centralized payment solutions, highlighting the crucial element of sovereignty that sets Bitcoin apart. Following that, we'll shift our focus to altcoins, questioning their claims of decentralization and unraveling the nuances that distinguish them from the true embodiment of decentralization, Bitcoin. 1. Decentralization and Sovereignty Let's delve deeper into the concept of decentralization. In the blockchain and finance space, decentralization involves distributing control across a network of stakeholders instead of having it concentrated in a centralized entity. This decentralization, in financial terms, essentially grants users sovereignty, giving them ultimate control over their assets without dependence on a central authority. The significance of this shift from centralized to decentralized structures lays the foundation for our exploration. 2. Bitcoin vs. Centralized Payment Solutions Now, let's turn our attention to our first case study. Bitcoin vs. Centralized Payment Solutions While entities like PayPal may boast speed and user-friendliness, their fundamental flaw lies in the absence of sovereignty. Unlike Bitcoin, where ownership is distributed across a network of users, centralized financial providers retain the power to shut down accounts and disrupt access to funds. Bitcoin's decentralized nature, characterized by a lack of a CEO or centralized point of control, ensures resilience against censorship and provides a robust case for true financial sovereignty. 3. Bitcoin versus Altcoins Transitioning to our second case study, let's analyze Bitcoin in contrast to altcoins claiming decentralization. Despite their assertions, many altcoins, upon closer inspection, reveal various teams and centralized structures. While experimentation within the blockchain technology realm is commendable, distinguishing between meaningful decentralization and mere claims becomes crucial. Bitcoin, standing as a genuine experiment in decentralization, emerges as a benchmark, setting it apart from the majority of altcoins in the crypto landscape. 4. The Illusion of Altcoin Decentralization, a deeper examination of altcoins often unveils the illusion of decentralization. Despite marketing themselves as decentralized entities, many altcoins exhibit characteristics that fall short of genuine decentralization. Marketing teams, centralized controls, and a lack of meaningful distribution among users are common features. Sovereignty, in this context, becomes an illusion, highlighting the importance of genuine decentralization for users seeking true financial independence. 5. Pros and cons of sovereignty. Sovereignty, the hallmark of decentralized systems, comes with both advantages and challenges. The absence of centralized control empowers users with unparalleled financial independence. However, this empowerment necessitates a greater degree of personal responsibility. Users must navigate the crypto landscape with an understanding that, without centralized points of control, there's limited support or a traditional complaints department. This balance between autonomy and responsibility marks a unique aspect of the decentralized financial experience. 
6. The Reasonable Case for Bitcoin A nuanced exploration of decentralization and Bitcoin is available in The Reasonable Case for Bitcoin. This book delves into the intricate nuances of Bitcoin's decentralized nature, offering readers a comprehensive perspective on its role in the ever-evolving financial landscape. For those seeking a deeper understanding of Bitcoin's impact and potential, this resource serves as an invaluable guide. How do you perceive decentralization in the realm of cryptocurrencies? How might this concept evolve? And what impact could it have on the broader financial landscape? Share your insights, questions, or experiences in the comments below. Stay tuned for more explorations into the ever-evolving world of blockchain and finance. The future of decentralized systems promises continued innovation and transformation, and we'll be here to uncover it.